Sorting through our images that we capture in astrophotography is literally one of the biggest pain in the necks ever. Trying to find the good ones, get rid of the bad ones, and then process everything out. It's incredibly easy to do now with this brand new Blink Comparator tool from Frank at SETI Astro that has in the SETI Astro suite now. It takes everything that is in horrible in PixInsight and combines all of it together to give us like a beautiful tool. So I'm Chad, this is the Easy Astro Images channel. We are gonna play with some photons today and show you how easy it is to get rid of all of those bad images. So first of all, big thanks to all of my channel members. We are at 10 now. So if you wanna help us out here on the channel, click the join button below, we'd love to have you. So we are running one of the latest versions Frank update, updates this thing constantly, and I think he just added the, his version of a generalized hyperbolic stretch. I haven't downloaded that one yet. So what we want to do first is we are going to go into the Blink Comparator. And by the way, this all is free, by the way, and he's done this in like six months. So if you're looking for a one-stop shop to learn how to like take your processing skills to the next level without dropping four or $500, because this has got denoising, this has got like your blur exterminator with his cosmic clarity, it's got everything. He'll admit it's all not that great yet but he is getting there. So let's go ahead and show you how awesome this is. So we've got C star data and I know that this C star data from this night is got some problems. Clouds rolled in and we're going to see exactly how easy this is to do. So I'm going to click on select directory and going to go to M01 and going to go to M101, my lights and select folder and it's going to load all of the images in here. So it'll take a couple seconds for that to happen. Now we have all of our images loaded up into this thing. And now this is where all of the magic happens. We are gonna click on show metrics. It's gonna do some calculations. It's gonna bring up a little message and it's gonna say, hey, like this is gonna use all your CPU cores. Are you sure? Yes. So you can see we've got 702 images here that we took that night, 20 second exposures. And you are now presented with these charts here and this is where things get beautiful. You can see a telling story here. You can see that as I shot, the clouds started rolling in, the background brightnesses started going all over the place. You can see that the star counts started going from high to low, even though we're shooting a galaxy, so we're dealing in pretty low star counts already. Our eccentricity, you know, how round the star is, is kind of all over the place. And the size of the star really didn't vary a whole lot for a C star. We can take care of that in closet cosmic clarity. So I'm really not worried about that right there. So let's start off with the star count. Let's say that like, I want to take this little red slider here and I want to grab onto it and I want to adjust it and I want to go ahead and raise it up to 20. Now, what it's gonna do when I let go is it's gonna basically go ahead and tell you all of the bad stuff. And you can see how it all correlates together here. And you can be with as aggressive with this as you want to be. And if I just kind of scroll down here, you can see that literally we pretty much wasted almost over half of the night on everything that's going on. And this is up to you about how aggressive you want to be. You know, I can raise the star count up just like a little bit to get rid of like these two images right here. So maybe now I want to further refine this a little bit and say, well, I see a couple outliers here in my background and I want a totally dark background. So we can just kind of lower that down to that right there. And now we will eliminate those images. These images are all flagged again, and now we are left with this right here. We can go ahead while we're in here as well, and if we wanna take a look at an image, we can just kind of tab through all the different images and stuff and make sure that there's none that we don't want in there. Like, you know, I'm not, I don't really care about having star trails and stuff like that, but you know, while we're go ahead in here, we can just go ahead and flag it and get rid of it too. We'll go ahead and leave that in there just because we can, and we'll let the algorithm just take care of it. But we can just go ahead and tap through all these and just see exactly what's going on. 
But, you know, I'm just going to trust the process. M101 is hidden in there somewhere that we can see. And we can see that we have all of these images here that it has basically flagged for us via this metrics tab. So once you're happy with everything, you can go ahead and save this out to process in the SETI Astro Suite. Now we can shift and click and select all of our images. So what we can do now is we can right click on these and we can say we want to move all of these selected items. And let me go ahead and just make a new folder that is called good. And we'll go ahead and dump them in there and select that. Go ahead and check that out and make sure that that is where they saved them all. There is all of our good images. And now, so now these are all here and you can do whatever you want to do with them. Now we can basically take these and we can put them into a serial script or we can use SETI Astro Suite to stack these images as well. I think a lot of people are going to probably be using serial. Uh, so what I would do is just go ahead and take this M101 and I would just basically delete my lights frame and I would rename this one two lights. Now we can open up Cyril. Go into scripts, go into Cyril script files, go into C star processing. We already have all of our stuff built in there. We've got our home directory set up. It knows where to look for the images. C star M101. It's looking for that lights folder. So Rich has done videos on this, on just how easy this is to do. Cyril really does this stuff really fast. Um, you might get better stacking results in other type of programs like using pics insight or whatever but this is just so easy that i don't know why you would not use anything why you would not use this so now we can just go to open and here is our image ready to go so we can just click on m101 open and there is our stacked image ready for us to go ahead and process here in Cyril. and then of course more of frank's tools are baked into Cyril as well but this is just a demonstration of how you can sift through your data. And of course, a little kicker, if you're using a C-Star, which I think everybody should have a C-Star in their repertoire, then this is the easiest way to go about processing that data. I don't have enough data to go ahead and process this image. I know that for sure. Some of you guys would probably like to go ahead and do that, but you definitely need more than three hours of time on target on M101 with a regular astrophotography system, let alone with a C-Star. But this is a perfect example of just how powerful Frank's tool is and how, and how easy and fun and exciting all of this stuff is getting between how great this software is and how easy it is just to capture images with this freaking C-Star. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.